All right, so let's start the class. And today we are going to continue study counting. <coughs> counting. Doctor Hen is Doctor Hen. All right, so we are continuing study counting. Now, for counting, the principle of counting, if a procedure is performed. Involve uh, in several steps. If each step there are <laughs> there is a certain number of choices, then this whole procedure, okay, the number of the possible ways to do that is going to be right. So the sim uh, the principle kind is simple. So now more exercise uh, in this area. Maybe we're going to deal with a little bit more complicated problems. But let's begin with all the um, problems, and we uh, we hope we can still do it. So my first question is: I hope we still remember, right? How many uh, uh, four-digit numbers was uh, this different or distinct? Okay. It's nine thousand. Uh, no. How do you know the answer? I don't need to multiply this out. I just want you can you can write the answer as a product. Okay. So <laughs> the idea is that four digit number. How do you write them four digit number? Right. Uh, you want to write them one by one. So the digits you can use is going to be the ten digits. But for the first one, right? For the first one, you can only have one of the nine choices from one to nine. So you have nine choices, right? Right, right, okay. And then for the, for the second one, you can choose any of the 10 digits except for the one you already used. So it's only nine, okay? <laughs> then for the third one, which is 10th digit, right, you can use any of the digits from 0 to 9 except for those two already used. So only two left. Okay, the last one, okay, which is units digit, right, you can use any of the digits from 0 to 9, but except for those already used, 3. So 10 minus 3 is the same. Okay. So those are the number of choices in each step when you write on the digits. Then how many different ways to write the four digit number? It's the number of the of the such uh, numbers is going to be nine times nine times eight times seven. Just multiply them out. Okay. So you are going to get, uh, I forgot. Uh, let me multiply this up. Hmm? It's 648. Uh, yeah, that's right. 648 times 7. It's going to be 4,536. Oh, this thing, I thought it was yeah. every single one. Buddha. Buddha. Now, <laughs> the next one I'm going to uh, talk about is the formula of uh, uh, the number of the, okay, here's a formula. I'm going to explain to you how do we get this formula. And then we can, we don't need the formula, can, but you have to repeat the same procedure over and over again. Okay? But let's do the problem first. Okay? Then we try to general, uh, get a general formula. How many? Uh, committees uh, of uh, three members can be formed from uh, a group oh, I, I, this of is so easy. ten people. Oh, I remember this. I remember this question. Okay. It's like 10 factorial <coughs> over... Okay, there's a formula, but the way, let's do it without using the formula. But uh, we will see how do we get the formula. Okay, then. 
Okay, here's what we do. Okay, you're going to select three members out of a group of uh, ten, right? So there, are, there are ten people here. Okay, so this is a uh, yeah. Here's a ten. Ten people. Okay, I'm going to put the three chairs in a row. I'm going to put the three chairs in. Be quiet, okay? I'm going to put the three chairs in a row, okay? and I'm going to pick up a number from this group, okay? So for the first one, you are going to get 10 choices. So, yeah. For the first one, you are going to get 10 options, okay? And for the second one, because the wind's already selected, it's gone. So you have and nine choices. Then you have eight choices. Okay. Now, if you count them uh, in order, if you if switch two person and in different order, you get different arrangement, then this is a total number of possible uh, 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 arrangements. As a committee, so we don't think the, you know, they are all equal position. So the order doesn't matter. In this case, the total number of committee is going to be the product of those numbers, but you have to divide by three factorial because, because when you permutate the three uh, members, you don't create new uh, committees. So those are the many, uh, many committees. You know, you, first of all, you put three chairs in the order. In the order. You select one by one. So then you put them in the chair, okay? So they sit there. Then if we, then you have a 10 times, nine times, eight, is this many different arrangements. But, but you want to form a group, you find out, you find out many of such arrangements will come to the same group, same group. We make the same group, okay, as committee. So how many? Actually, there are three factors, which is six. There are six. Uh, yeah, six arrangements correspond to the same group, you know, when you permute them. So that's the reason you divide by three factorial. Now, okay, then, then, but this, this one can be also nine times eight, seven, all the way to one. Then you divide by seven uh, 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 times, times six, all the way to one, okay? So the numerate is going to be 10 factorial, denominate will be three factor times yes, seven, right? Like right? But this is the way the formula come from, right? <coughs> <coughs> this is the way the formula comes from. But originally it was just only 10 times nine times eight divided by three factor, right? <coughs> so let's state the formula. Number of committees of K members which are selected from from a group of n members is going to be okay, n factorial over k factorial n minus k k factorial. So this is but this is a very interesting number, honestly. This number shows up in many different places, right? Uh, this number shows up in many uh, places. So this is a, yeah, this is, how do we get this formula? Just ideas are very similar. You know, you, you, here we work on the specific numbers, right? And that's why I've got 10 factor over three factor divided by 10 minus three, which is seven factor, which, okay? But this is a more general, so I, you, you don't need to, uh, uh, if you want to understand, just look at that public problems. But I want to tell you, because this it shows up in another unrelated problems. For example, okay, uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to multiply this out, okay, if you multiply this out, you will get, okay, you will get uh, uh, x to the n. And this will be n factorial, one factorial, n minus one factorial, x to the n minus one y one. And then, and there'll be n factorial, two factorial, n minus two factorial. Here's x minus 
until the power decreases, the size of power increases. And this, this will be the middle way in general, it is going to be uh, N factorial of K factorial, N minus K factorial, which is X minus K to the power K, okay? And so on. So the last one will be just Y to the N. So you can see that this shows up here, which does not look like, uh, we don't know, right? But it's very interesting. So those coefficients shows up in this uh, expansion of the of the n, uh, x plus y to the n's power, right? So let's take a look at the, what what is that number, okay? N factor n uh, over one factorial times n minus but n just why because n factor is n minus one factor times n so oh. one factor out is just n and uh, yeah and how about this this is a same thing this is gonna be n minus two factoria n times n minus one times n And then, so same thing, but you cancel out this, so you will get this. Okay, so you you cannot get something, uh, uh, yeah, but the, the general one is more complicated. We just write down this two, okay? So in other words, x plus y to the 100, you may get x 100, plus this is a 100, x 99y, then the third one will be uh, uh, nine times one hundred divided by two, okay. And x to the uh, ninety-eight times y squared, and keep it going. The last one y to the one hundred, okay. Yeah, we will use this formula later, but I'm not going to spend too much time on that. So let's go move on to uh, the next problem. <clears throat> so our next problem uh, will be <coughs> What's your name? Joshua How to spell J-O-S-H-U-A, right? How many distinct permutations oh. can be formed uh, uh, from all the letters of Joshua? What? Yeah. Okay. I was asking what's it? I'm going to permit it to you. Everywhere, Copyright. any part of the body. <laughs> okay. So, so first, first of all, you look at that. Joshua, all the letters are distinct, they're different. Okay. So all the letters are different than. So Yeah. So it's Jasper. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. So here's all the letters are different. So when you when you when you permutate them, right? And uh, then you like, for example, J O S H U A, and for example, S H O J U A, and so on. So, so actually, you are going to get six factorial. It's a, it's a, it's a six hundred, yeah, six factorial, right? And it's hard to write down all of them, okay? But, uh, but the way we do is permutate them. Or how do you permutate them? Now you have all the letters, right? Let's call it J O S H U A. Okay? Then you put six position six presses here. So you randomly pick up one from this group of six letters, you have six choices. Six, five, then, four, three, two, three. Then only five left, then four left, then three left, two left, and the last one have no choice, just pick it up. Okay? 
So that's why the total number of different arrangements is going to be, right? Total number of the different uh, 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 words, what they get, yeah, total number of arrangements is going to be six times five times four times three times two times one. So that's a six factor. Okay. Now let's do the next one. Hey, just just try to be quiet. Okay. Did you just get locked out? All right, so uh, the next problem I'm going to... Uh, yeah, so here's the next one, okay? The question is, how many distinct permutations uh, can be. Is it the same thing as last week? Formed uh, from all the letters, letters of L E T T E R S. Letters. Oh, letters. It's letters. Can you read? Oh. T yeah. <coughs> yeah. I'm sorry, my spelling. Letters. So L E T T E R S. All right, how many letters here? You know, L one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So the idea, <laughs> yeah. So so this, how do we do that? Well, actually, first of all, suppose that all the letters are different. There'll be seven factorial, remain different. However. When you permutate just two e, right? Two t. Yeah, two t. So you don't, you cannot distinguish them. So you have to do by two factorial, and then also two t, two e, right? So this will be the answer. Divide by two factorial. Okay. So that's. Yeah. So four. this is a how many? This is how many of the different uh, uh, words you can get. So when there are two identical words show up, you have to divide. I found it. So my uh, <laughs> my next question is, uh, I print ten golden delicious apple tree. Apple tree. Wait. You eat the apple tree itself? Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> three <laughs> pear trees. Is that healthy? Uh, in one row. All right. My question is how many different uh, distinct arrangements are possible? 13 factorial. Right, how many, uh, so a typical example is apple tree, apple tree, apple tree, apple tree, apple tree, right? Five, then you decide to put the pear trees, then apple tree, apple tree, then P. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so this is one of the possible patterns. My question is, how many different possible distinct arrangements? We, are going to, we, we want to study this type of mathematics because sometimes, you know, there are, we want to know how many possible combinations of the three, uh, two different letters, okay? And can you calculate, simplify it? Joshua, do we have problems? Be quiet and sit, work on this part. Jasper? You what's the answer? Again. Oh, no. <laughs> that's no. That's Whoa. That's Thirteen factorial. It's wrong. Thirteen. There's thirteen kin for the first word. Oh, three more trees. I thought it said like three. Three years. It says three pear trees. I just type one answer and. Uh, <coughs> 
How do you get 160? How do you get 1,260? I just say 13. <laughs> no, that's from last book. I just think it's 13 factorial. <gasps> Appetite. Oh, it's two. It's two. They have to be distinct. And there's only two. So it's Oh. Just two? <laughs> Anyone has to give me answers? It's right. Because look, this thing, so each number is each letter. Is is impossible. So it's A P A P A P A A A A A A A A It has to be distinct. Yes. yes. Oh my god. Still makes no sense. Let's see. Who is that? Uh, hey. David, do you have an answer? You get such a big number. Power. <coughs> this thing, yes, what if Kevin, Zhang, and the word gay part and still be distinct? Okay. Yeah. We're gonna hold open the repeat the A and two bars in the whole. All right, so I thought you can do it, and now I have to show it to you how to do it. Okay. First of all, there are certain different. There are certain letters there. Maybe you can still assume that they're all different. And if they're all different, there will be 13 many factorial. Yes. Okay? What? Since the 10, 10 letters A are identical, cannot be distinguished, they divide by 10 factorial. Then also you have a three letters A, uh, three P's are, are distinguishable. Mm -hmm. So you have to divide by three factorial. Okay? Then you will get 10 factorial, 11, 12, 13. And here's 10 factorial, one times two times three. So canceled out. And then cancel this out. So it will be 11 times two times 13. The answer is going to be 286. Nobody gave me this answer. Okay, I thought you did it. Uh, there are only 286 different combinations you can get. Just that is two. Okay. What else do I need? Two. So I hope you, I hope you can do that. Let me, let me ask you. Uh, is this an exact copy of the last No. So now we are going to do something different, okay? Uh, Okay, there are okay, seven taggers numbered okay, one, two, 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 three, three, and four. Okay, you are going to use in these taggers. Uh, how many distinct three digit number you can be formed such that each two, exactly two of the digits are the same. Okay, clear? One, two, how many three, two, three, distinct four. three digit numbers so then can be formed? <laughs> such that each time exactly two of the digits are identical. 
are the same. Okay, so such that so for example, a typical example is like one two two good. Okay, three three uh, one, three three four, right? I just give an example. Now it's not easy to count. All right, so the idea is, first of all, you only have, yeah, you can only choose, um, so in order to make, okay, in order to make such numbers, you only, <clears throat> okay, put it this way. So this is how do we do that, right? So you need a, a, a either the number will be supposed to yeah it's either two two another number okay but then you all permitted them another possible letters would be like this okay and uh, this stock shouldn't be the same number so um, yeah let's look at the possible format right so the letter will be the uh, the, dig uh, the three digit number consists of double two or double three, okay? right? Right, but, but maybe in different orders. Okay. So how many, uh, first of all, let's figure out how many sets of such numbers. 12, for example, three, uh, two, two, right? Two two one, you can two two one, and uh, two two three, two two four. Okay, I'm not talking about the permutation. Okay, just like that. And here three three one, three three two, three three four. Okay. Right? Yeah. So we have a, uh, we have a. Uh, uh, first of all, have a such. You know, you get six different. Uh, uh, formats, okay? Then for each format, okay, you permutate, okay, for each format, right? How many distinct uh, uh, distinct uh, uh, number you're gonna get. For example, two, two, one, right? You have three letters, so three factorial, but that's two identical, actually it's only three, okay? So that means, uh, you're going to get two two one, two one two, one two two. Okay. <clears throat> so, so how do we how do we write down how do we write down three such numbers? Step one, you choose one of the six uh, six patterns. Okay. So step one, you choose one of the six patterns. Okay, so the answer is, so one of the, yeah, it's going to be six, okay? Then times, step two, okay? Step two for, For each of the choices, you have uh, you have a three, right? Choices, right? For each pattern, you have three. You can generate three different uh, uh, three-digit numbers by right? permutating them. So it's a three. So the answer will be eighteen. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, step one: you choose one of the six patterns. Step two: for each fixed pattern. Right, you, you, you make a, 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 a implementate them, so you get, but you only get three different distinct three-digit numbers. Then you multiply this out six times three, eighteen. So that total eighteen different such numbers. Okay.
<clears throat> I'm going to ask you to do the following one. If each of five people at a meeting uh, shake hands with each other, how many hands shape will be taken? No, uh, uh, I think we should uh, with each other exactly once, okay? So otherwise, we're not going to come. Yeah. So please, please. Uh, trying to figure it out, Joshua. Each of the five people at the meeting yeah. shared, uh, <laughs> yeah, shakes hands with each other exactly once. For example, Joshua shakes hands with each of them, and uh. Yeah, but you cannot, sh yeah, two people will not shake hands twice, okay? How many? Ten. Hmm? Ten. No. <coughs> so wait, first of all, you have, at the beginning, you have four people to shake, and four factorial. Twenty-four! <laughs> it's twenty-four. Uh, you have given me all kinds of different answers. Ten. 24. What is that? What is that? Okay. 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 One. Oh. I will. Uh, no, that people cannot check hands twice. Plus ten. There's forty people. Minus. Well, in the beginning, you have four people to shake hands with. If you shake hands with one person, now you have three people to shake hands with. Plus, not more. It's one thousand twenty-four hands. How do you get that? I don't know. I don't. Okay. Uh, I, I want. Uh, Kevin, what do you got? Twenty. Wait, no, it's twenty. Jasmine it's got 20. ten. Twenty. All right. It's twenty. Because you multiply four by five. All right. So here's what we do. You can write down like this: one, two. There's a couple ways to do. Okay. Three, four, and five. So shake hands. Shake hands. Shake hands. Shake hands. Right. Then for the two, you cannot shake hands with one. You have three, four, five. So first of all, you got four, right? Then you got three, okay? Then for the three, one, two. For the four, just only one. So total will be 10, okay? So this is a more direct way to do it. Yeah, the answer is 10. I'm surprised you guys did not get it. I'm... Oh boy, it was 10. All right, so the next I'm one. I'm so bad at this. All right. Another question. In, we are going to do slightly different problems. In how many ways can four people uh, Arrange them selves around the a square table. Wait, 
All right, so we're going to have a table, square table here. There's four people, A, B, C, D, right? And uh, how many different ways? All right, you can interchange this two, C, A, B, D, right? Different, right? Clearly, those are two different arrangements. Yes, they are clearly different. Clearly. There's four sides, then there's four people, so it's 24. So we have to say different arrangements means, you know, they are, we don't count that source, north, left, or right, okay? We'll make sure their relationship is different. Okay, so that means if I rotate people, okay, so this is a one, then you rotate it here, this should be viewed as the same. <laughs> Do you agree? I just realized this. What if? Continue, and the A, and the B, and the C, and the D, and then you can, right? Yeah, then, uh, then it's A here, A, B, C, D. So we view them all identical. Okay? We think they are all the same pattern because on the left-hand side to A is a B. On the right-hand side to A is a D. So the relationship if is never be changed. Okay? So those we think is the same. Okay? They are same. Same arrangement review them. Okay, so my question is how many different arrangements you're going to make? Hmm? No. No, that because they are all same. One. One, twenty-one. Okay, I'll give you half more minute to sing about nobody got the right answer yet. Twenty-one. Because those three are the same. Because those three are the same. And then one of them could be different. Because they'll be the same. So then it's twenty-one. Unless they're all the same thing, then it'll be one. Still All right. Anyone give me a correct answer? One. I'm going to call your name. Okay. Michelle, do you have an answer? Are you working on the problem? These people are all AFK. Okay, I, I, in the right hand. Okay, this is a little bit difficult problem, okay? So we, uh, so Ripen got a 94, <laughs> that's even larger number, okay? They're not good. Okay, first of all, we don't think this is for, you know, I, I let A, B, C, D, C, T, you know, when, when, uh, when order, okay? Then I rotate them. Then I, I think they are identical. We don't think that's different. When you play pox, 
then there's still the same relationship among these four people, A, B, C, D. You just rotate them, but uh, this location, right, does not create a different relationship among, among those uh, four people sitting there, right? Even uh, B is sitting on the north, D is sitting on the south side, but it's really not a big difference, right? So they are, so they are identical, we view them. Now, okay, so assume, okay, so here's a couple ways to think about. Assume all the chairs you label it, this is chair one, the chair three, chair four, and the five, uh, three and four. So, so you have four chairs, Okay, and then you have a four people there, A, B, C, D, and you put them right in the order. Then there are four factorial many different arrangements there. Okay, you know you label that the north. You know you can say uh, the chair on the north side, north side. Let's end the chair on the uh, and the and the and the east side and the south side and the west side. Okay, so. If those are the facts, then you put the A, B, C, D, four people sitting in a row, then, then you go over there, you know, right? Then you find out that there are four factorial many different arrangements. However, however, there's a permit, there was a rotation here. When I rotate those chairs, I find out they are not going to give me different arrangements. They are, they are, they are still essentially the same. I say this, you know, uh, so so four of them will be the same, okay? So four of them, you know, a given one, uh, given one arrangement, and you rotate those chairs, and you create the same, essential same arrangement, okay? So you have to divide by four. This is what I want to say. So the answer will be three factorial, which is six. Okay, there are only six different uh, <laughs> ways to solve the problem. And here's another way to think about around the circle, you have to put the A, B, C, D, okay? So, instead of a strict line, you put the A, B, C, D around the circle. How many this, uh, different uh, arrangements, okay? How many different arrangements, it's the same story here. How many different arrangements, <coughs> right? How many different arrangements there are, but if uh, 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 we don't count north source, right? <coughs> but we do count who is on the, my right side, who is on my left side, right? This is relationship, okay? For example, A to A, you know, left-hand side is B, right-hand side is D, right? That's important, right? the opposite side is C. We only consider this kind of relationship, okay? Then uh, how many of them, right? How many different uh, uh, arrangements there? So first of all, you, 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 first of all, you, you, you open, you cut here maybe, you open the line, okay? What you got here is gonna be A, B, C, and the D, okay? Right? Assuming this on the whole line, how many different arrangements? Four, okay? But when you close up, you find out they are, low, you can rotate them that do not give you different, the rotation does not destroy the relationship among them, okay, rotation, okay? So the rotation does not destroy the relationship among those four people. But how many rotations you can make? One. Two, three, four. Okay, there are four different notations, so that's the reason uh, you still get three factorial. Okay, there's three factorial in different arrangements, keeping the relationship between them, not the position. Okay, I'm talking about arrangement uh, for yeah. So keeping the relationship among them. Uh, no, I should say the keeping. Yeah, how many different 
relationship among those four people. That's more precise, yeah. Different relationships, right? So that be three factor, which is six, still six. All right, our next problem is, okay. How many different signals you can get? Each consists of each consisting of five flaggers and vertically. Okay, this can be formed. from three identical red flaggers and the two identical uh, blue flags. Right? So we're going to hand the flags one, two, three, four, five. Okay, right. they are the different colors. Okay, right. and the red facts. <laughs> okay, do you understand the question? So you you see the signal, right? You know that. So we want to know how many different uh, 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 signals you are going to get. Okay, please do this problem. Hmm? saying that what if you switch the top red to the middle red? Couldn't those be different? No. No. Could the blue, red, blue, red, red? Could the blue, red, red, red? Could the blue, blue, red, red, red? Could the blue, red, red, red? Could the blue, red, red, red? Yeah. Can you do that? Red, red, blue, blue. I uh, they hand up vertically. So my next question, I probably will ask you if then I, if I if I make them a circle. But a soccer ball. One, two, three, four. Uh, it's not. <laughs> Yeah, please do the first problem, okay? No, if a uh, hand uh, vertically, those flags are uh, vertically hand on that, right? And then you have a uh, three identical red flags, two identical blue flags. Come on, come on. How many different signals you're going to get? Oh. Hmm? Oh. <coughs> Any different answers? You guys, please tell me. Devi, Devi, Devi Shen. I have to call your name now. Kevin got 10. I got 12. 
James here, yeah, are you working on the problem? All right, so <laughs> five, suppose all the five flags are different, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. They're, if they're all different, then how many patterns you're going to have? How many different arrangements? Five factorial, right? However, if you, yeah, how are they together? <laughs> if you permute those three red flags, you're not going to get different patterns, got it? So that will be divided by three Why factorial. Two? Because if you permutate those two blue flags, you don't make different signals. So you have to divide by two factorial. So the answer will be uh, 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 three factorial has four and the five. <coughs> so it can be 10 you are going to only get 10 different signals out of this arrange, arrangement. Now, the next one is much harder. No! Right? Yes. You divide this circle uh, into five even sectors, and you have uh, two colors. There will be three sectors will be uh, painted red, as a two painted blue. And how many different, how many different cir such circle, colorful circles you're going to make? You can tell, you can tell difference. For example, those two are definitely a different if I put them together. Okay? Right? Right? So you clearly you see those are two different, right? Yes, they are totally different. Yeah, my question is how many different <laughs> patterns you're going to get? 500 million, 628, huh? <coughs> This is hard, right? Um, one, two, three, four, that's four steps. One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyone give me an answer? The answer is ten divided by two. Okay. Now the question is why. You only get two different, okay? 10 divided by sorry, five, which is only two. <laughs> how do I get? There are only two different, that's all. No matter how do you make, you are going to make the same pattern. Oh, you won't. Yeah, those are only two you can get. Yeah, oh. Okay. What? There is. And you move the blue one from the first one, Clockwise once, the second time clockwise once, and then it'll be yeah. the same thing, but flip. Yeah. But how do I get this in, uh, in general? Because right now, this is a simple, I only have two colors. You can even just look at it, that's two. But why I divide by five, you get two. Okay? Yeah, uh, uh, think about that. I'm going to, yeah, suppose you have more colors, you know, different colors. It's going to be divided by... Okay, so this is a very special, you know, you can see that, but uh, let's look at the different part. How did I get that? Actually, I think it's in the following way. I, uh, I, I, I just locate them. Uh, well, first of all, I assume 
you know, just look at this. I put circles instead of, I put the flags here instead of uh, in this pattern. So I, So around this circle, I have a two. Uh, I have a five balls, right? And uh, two different colors: two reds, three blues. Then, if uh, okay, if I cut it here, I open it, right? I opened. I got one, two, one, two, three. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to show you how to understand the problem. Okay, this is a. Okay. <clears throat> okay. If you open it, cut. Okay, then you, you will get picture like that. You open it, right? So you put five balls along this line. You know, how many different arrangements? That will be five factoria divided by two factorial divided by three factor, which is 10, okay? Then you close it, right? You make a necklace, for example, right? When you close it, okay, are you still get 10 different patterns? No, the reason is uh, when you look at this five different times, you don't create a new one. But when you look at it, it's still cut here, okay? But then when you make a rotation, you don't get a different uh, pattern. For example, when you rotate the next one, let's see. Uh, next one, when you rotate it, and this two red one will be on the same side, okay? Red, red, blue, blue, blue. Okay, I'm going to uh, show you. Yeah. After rotation, after rotation, right? You rotate this and you cut it, okay? You don't see, you still cut it here, but this time, yeah, I'm just showing you one, uh, two examples, and uh, then you will probably understand what I'm talking about, okay? Okay, first of all, those two necklaces that, essentially same pattern, right? You don't see the difference you put on the table. You rotate once, you know, counterclockwise. And, but when you open it, still cut the same location. When you open it, you get, you get different pattern. You find the two red one on the left and three, three blue ones on the right, right? So, so first of all, if you put all five balls in a row, you will get 10 different patterns. But when you close up, in other words, you close up, this kind of pattern don't make it, don't give you different uh, patterns along the circle, okay? So that's the reason, but how many rotations you can make? And then, you know, you make the total five rotations if you have five balls. So that's a five rotations. So that's what 10 divided by five and gives you only two. So you only get the two, uh, different, uh, two different uh, patterns on the circle. Okay, let me repeat again. Let's think about two different ways. Uh, one is, look at those two rows of five balls. When I close up to make a ring, necklace, you, you see no difference, okay? Only the positions are slightly different. You rotate the one on the top, one on the bottom, you just counterclockwise rotate, but they're still the same necklace, okay? So those two correspond to the same necklace. Actually, you can, you can go in like this, go in, uh, you can go in rotation like that, okay? Actually, actually, five different notations create the same necklace. Yeah, you just like uh, move the last one to the left, move the most uh, right one to the most left side, and this, you switch position. You don't make a new necklace, okay? But how many 
of them. Five, right? You know, you if you move this one to the other side, and you just just move that direction, push to all the one to the left, uh, to the right by one position, right? Then you don't get, uh, you get a different rows of balls, but you don't get different necklaces. So how many of them? How many rotations you can make? Two. Five. Five rotations. So they have to 10 divided by five, only get two different necklaces you can make. Okay? So this is a little bit more complicated uh, 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 counting. Is this one of our questions? Yes. So no. we, we do uh, some of them will be on the homework. So to look at the notes, the if you have a trouble to do it. Okay, let's stop here.